Alright guys, today I wanted to make a video about Warren Zare Emery, who is a 16-year-old defensive midfielder for PSG and France, and uh, recently won the Under-17 European Championship with France, um, being one of the younger players in their squad actually. And, I mean, also got called up last season to PSG's first team at the age of 15, which is absolutely incredible. Like, think of, think of yourself as a 15-year-old being called up to play alongside Kylian Mbappe, Lionel Messi, Neymar, Marco Verratti, um, Jorginho Wijnaldum, Marquinhos, Presno Kimpembe, Sergio Ramos. Like, all these players, and, and you get called up to play alongside them. It, it's incredible, really. Um, and, yeah, he, he's a really, really good player young, uh, like, number six sort of role player, uh, very good at winning the ball back, chasing players down who were running at him, and uh, starting up attacks of his own. Um, he, he's still not the biggest in physique. He, he's not, like, a non-physical player, but he's just, like, obviously at the age of 16 and also playing up, like, uh, in age groups way above him. Like, he mostly plays in, like, the under-19 age group or did last season for PSG, despite being three or four years, you know, younger than every other player. Um, and actually being one of the better players of that age group as well, which is, I mean, it's incredible, really. Um, and, yeah, as I said, very good at winning the ball back in, in front of the defence and... Uh, bringing the ball forward and starting attacks by his, by himself. Uh, he's also very like elegant on the ball and uh, very technical. Can like feels comfortable dribbling with the ball. Has a good passing range as well, and also has that ability, which I mean, all good midfielders need of uh, being able to uh, see what's about to happen five seconds before it actually does happen. So like that, that awareness it obviously is uh, really important uh, for any, any midfielder, like a high level in football. And yeah, the, like the, there are very high expectations of this player. He's signed a new contract, I believe three years at PSG. Um, so hopefully by that time he starts to get some first team, like proper first team action. Um, it, like playing playing for the first team in Ligue 1 or possibly even the Champions League or something. And the fact that he's only just turned 16 as well is it, it, is incredible. Because if, if if you think of... Um, so, so we've got the World Cup coming this winter. At the 2030 World Cup, I think it, like I've forgotten where it's being hosted to be honest. But the 2030 World Cup, the season before, it's still possible for him to win Young Player of the Year because he he would have been 23 at the start of that season. That's insane, and and yet he's being called up to the PSG first team. So eight years into the future. And he could still win Player of the Year. I, I mean, I, I personally don't agree with like 23, 24 year olds being nominated for Young Player of the Year. I think it should be 21 and under. But still, like, that, that shows how good he is at such a young age, like playing that far above himself in the age groups. Um, and he's also actually scored a few, a few goals as well um, for for PSG's youth teams, important goals as well. Uh, that there, there was a game in uh, December, the final game of uh, the Champions League group stage. Uh, I've forgotten which age group it was. I think it was under 19s, and they were playing Club Brugge, I believe, and they were two 0 down at half time and needed to win to scrape through. He got a goal and an assist um, to help like PSG turn it round to make it free two and they went through. Um so I mean playing doing that with players around you who are three years above yourself as like a central midfielder takes some doing. So yeah, he should be a very exciting player to watch over the next twenty years if we're being honest. He's sixteen, so even then he might not have retired. It'll be thirty six. So that that's just crazy to think.